Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, and I'm coming at you here with some breaking news. The Las Vegas Raiders have gone out and hired an offensive coordinator, an offensive line coach, a well-respected college scout, and a senior defensive assistant. Now, I am Mitchell Renz from Chat Sports, and this is the Las Vegas Raiders Report. We are always doing our best to make sure you guys stay up to date on everything going on around the silver and black. So before I get into who Mike Lombardi is, who Cameron Brasillo is, who Rob Ryan is, and who Andy Dengler is, I want you to go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you turn on those notifications. And since I am filming at home, I might be able to get my dog Chuck, he just looked at me, to come up here on the show at the very end. But I want you to wait until the end to see that. So what we're going to be doing here on today's show is going to be breaking down the four new hires that Las Vegas had today. Starting with offensive coordinator Mike Lombardi. Now for a long time, I know I was sitting here waiting like, are the Raiders going to hire an OC? Is Josh McDaniels just going to be the guy that calls some plays? So what you see here is the Raiders, they end up bringing in another New England dude. Lombardi was the old wide receivers coach for the New England Patriots, and he has some you know, past experience also actually as a scout. So now you bring in the old wide receivers coach the past two years in New England. He also was the assistant quarterbacks coach for the Patriots in 2019, the Jets offensive assistant from 2017 to 2018, an offensive quality control coach for the 49ers in 2016, a defensive assistant for the 49ers in 2015, another offensive assistant in 2014 for San Francisco, assistant to the head coach, shout out to one of my favorite shows, the office assistant of the regional manager uh, in 2013, and then he was a coaching assistant at Fordham, which was back in 2009 to 2010. Now, personally, I've said for a long time, for the Raiders, they really need to be able to go out and find some solid wide receivers for Derek Carr or whoever's going to be the quarterback of the future. I understand in terms of your free agents, you got Zay Jones, Deshaun Jackson. I anticipate the Raiders really playing hard to end up bringing back Zay, but you still need a wide receiver one. You have a great slot receiver in Hunter Renfro, and he's going to do big, big things this year in this system. Then you have a guy like Brian Edwards, who I do like, but he should be your probably wide receiver three, maybe red zone only style of dude. So can a guy like Mike Lom or Mick Lombardi, excuse me, bring in somebody big like a Devonta Adams, like a Chris Godwin, like an Allen Robinson? Can you go out and trade for somebody like, I don't know, a Brandon Cooks who, guess what? has also worked in a very similar system since he once played with the New England Patriots. So for Lombardi, you just need to be able to bring some fun and excitement. I'm hoping that McDaniels and Lombardi work very similar to what you see guys from like Andy Reid, Eric B. Enemy creating fun plays because what I do not want to see is a boring offense like we saw for the past few years with Greg Olson. And at the end of the day, you need to be able to convert better in the red zone, which is one of the things that I did like about Josh McDaniels, one of the best, and I mean best, offensive callers in the red zone. And now you're going to go in and bring a guy with more familiarity. Hopefully, that's good things. So what I want you guys to do is go down in the comments section right now and grade the hire of Mick Lombardi. A, you absolutely love it. B, it's a good hire. C, it's average. D, it's bad. F, it's a big old fat fail. The way that I'm going to do this is, for me, I'm going to basically break down and say that the grade that I am going to give this is... I'm going to give this a B grade. I think it's a good move by the Raiders. And what you're seeing again out of Dave Ziegler and out of Josh McDaniels is they're going to bring people in that know their system. They're going to bring in people that they trust. And they're going to try to go continue with this whole Patriot way. I know I don't like saying it either, but it's kind of what they're doing. And out of all the hires that they have, you're seeing more people being brought in as a collective unit. I want this team to take all their pieces together and start making decisions together as a collective unit. Also, I mentioned at the top of the show that the Raiders, they went out and hired an offensive line coach. So I know for a long, long time, we're like, all right, Tom Cable no longer here. Now you're going to go ahead and bring in somebody named Carmen Brasilio, who, for those of you who don't know, was also the Patriots offensive line coach. So not only do you bring in the old wide receiver coach, you bring in the Patriots offensive line coach. And I always find it very interesting when a coach goes a makes a lateral movement, let's say. So you have an offensive line coach, offensive line coach. Like Patrick Graham, the Raiders' new DC. He was a DC for the New York Giants, looked at that staff, looked at that roster, and was like, you know what? I like what they have in Las Vegas a lot better. The fact that 
Carmen Brasilio left the New England Patriots to come over to the Las Vegas Raiders, that to me speaks volumes as well because you only make that move if you're confident in what this team has. Now, in terms of the offensive line, Carmen definitely is going to have some work to do. You have a great left tackle in Colt Miller, one of the best left tackles in the National Football League. You need to be able to figure out what you have at left guard. I like John Simpson, but to me, he's more of a rotational backup type of dude, fourth round pick coming out of Clemson. I know Richie Incognito, he's basically done. Can you maybe go out and get somebody in free agency? I just put out on the channel today some of my top free agent targets. I know there's some good left guards out there. I know there's some overall really good guards out there in general, like Brandon Scherf. He's more of a right guard. You got Lankin Tomlinson, Andrew Norwell, somebody that I like a ton. Please go check out that video. You have your longtime center, Andre James. He struggled in the beginning, got much, much better as the season went on, to be honest. He was probably a top 10 center by the end of the year. Then you got right guard. It's going to be Alex Leatherwood. I do not see that changing whatsoever. The first round pick out of Alabama, they tried to put him at right tackle. That did not work. Now you bring him in at right guard. Got to be able to find somebody on that right side of the offensive line because Brandon Parker is a free agent and he's also not very good. Now it's going to be interesting to see what the Raiders decide to do with Denzel Good. They gave him a two-year deal. He ended up tearing his ACL and now he's going to be back. He can play tackle, but personally I think he's built to be a little bit more of a guard. So if the Raiders want to go out and spend a free agency, they're going to have about $31.7 million is the projected salary, I believe, is what it'll have. And for those that don't know, free agency starts on March 16th, and that's basically the whole new year at 4 p.m. Eastern time. So whoever this new offensive line guy decides to do, Carmen Brasilli, I'm going to do my best to remember that name because, again, I'm still learning these uh, names as well as you guys do. Got to improve the offensive line. The Raiders had one of the worst offensive lines in the National Football League. Derek Carr got hit a ton, and if you want to keep a legit Great Derek Carr, we know you got to keep him upright. Now, in terms of some of his coaching background from Carmen, he was the offensive line coach for the Patriots in 2000, uh, 2021, co offensive line coach for the Pats in 2020, coaching assistant in 2019 for New England. Then he was the offensive line coach at Youngstown State from 2010 to 2018, so a pretty young guy, only 45 years old. Then he was the offensive assistant for Illinois in 2009, a coaching assistant at Akron from 2006 to 2008, Duquesne's offensive line coach from 2005, and then Indiana Area High School, 2003 to 2004. So this guy is actually from Pennsylvania, so another guy you're bringing in from PA, which I always like to see. It's probably why he went to Duquesne. But again, I like this move over Tom Cable because when you go back and look at a lot of the old Tom Cable offensive lines, they struggled. Cable, he wanted these big, long, lanky types of dudes. Didn't always work out. For Carmen, I expect him to come in and really, really clean up this offensive line. So what I want you to do now is after hearing everything that I just had to say there about Carmen Brasilio, I want you to go ahead and I want you to grade, or excuse me, rate the higher from a scale from zero to all the way up to 100. Zero, you absolutely do not like it. 100, you absolutely love it. For me personally, I, when I give like my grades, like a C, B, I'm going to give this one a 75. I need to learn a little bit more about Brasilio. I want to see what he, this guy is able to do in terms of getting his players to work as a collective unit. Now, this does make it more interesting because one of the best right tackles in free agency is going to be Trent Brown. I do not want Trent Brown anywhere near this team. But the fact that Brown does have some connections with the offensive line, with all these Patriots coaches. It's definitely going to be interesting to see uh, what ends up happening. But again, I'm going to give it a 75, 80. I like him better than Tom Cable, but that's just because, I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm on YouTube, and I do not like Cable. All right, the next guy that we are going to go ahead and talk about is Rob Ryan, because when I saw this one come in earlier this morning... I'm sitting here in my, you know, my day off. I'm like, man, what the heck should I do? What the heck should I do? Do I make a video about Rob Ryan? And for those that don't know, Rob's brother, Rex, he's the one that's on television, and he's the one that's got the weird foot fetish. It's not Rob. Rob is actually pretty well respected. So this was the tweet that ended up going out from Adam Schefter. Former Ravens linebacker coach Rob Ryan has been hired as the senior defensive assistant for the Las Vegas Raiders. Ryan is now back with the Raiders where he spent five years. So 14 years ago, I'm going to hop back into that time machine. 14 years ago, Ryan was with the Oakland Raiders. And he's got a lot of coaching history. The Ryans have always been a very prominent family in terms of defense. 
hard nose style. Like I'm talking Oakland Raiders in the 80s. Heck, I guess Los Angeles Raiders type of defense. Like that's what you're going to see out of Rob Ryan. Now in terms of how long he's been coaching, the Baltimore Ravens linebacking coach in 2021. The Washington, I guess, Commanders uh, inside linebackers coach in 2019. New Orleans Saints DC from 2013 to 2015. Cowboys DC from 2011 to 2012, Browns DC 2009 to 10, Oakland Raiders DC from 2004 to 2008. You have the New England Patriots linebackers coach from 2000 to 2003, Oklahoma State DC from 97 to 99, Hutchinson Community College DC in 96, Arizona Cardinals defensive backs coach from 1994 to 1995. Tennessee State running backs, linebackers, and defensive line coach from 1989 to 93. That's when I was born. Ohio State linebacker coach in 1988. Western Kentucky assistant head coach in 1987. So again, you're seeing a guy who's been coaching for a very, very long time. He's got a lot of connections, whether it was Buddy Ryan, whether it was his brother Rex, a lot of good bloodlines there. So from that standpoint, I like the idea of him being able to bring in and bring in his knowledge. I don't want him directly working with some of these players, but the fact that he's going to be the senior defensive assistant, it's a lot of lot of knowledge for that position. So when you saw the, the post notification shout out, right? That's a joke that we make at Chat Sports. When you see the notification, because I know your notifications are turned on, and I know you're subscribed to the Raiders report, when you saw that come up, like, oh crap, Rob Ryan hired for the Raiders, what was your one word reaction? Uh, because for me, I was just like, what kind of more information do I need to go out and get? So I want to know, down in those comments right now, what was your one word reaction to the Raiders going out and hiring Rob Ryan as their senior defensive assistant? Let me know, because for me, man, I still got to wrap my mind around it. Anytime I hear the name Ryan, I definitely do get a little bit of nervous and nervousness. Is that the right word? And, you know, for a long time, he was a solid DC. And then for a long time, he was a really bad DC. So I'm hoping kind of like what you saw out of Josh McDaniels, you learn from your past and you can go ahead and get better. The last thing, you know, we're going to talk about is who the Raiders went out and hired. They uh, hired a very well-respected NFL scout. Before I break that all down, remember, guys, you can always hit me up on IG. You can always hit me up on Twitter. I'm at MitchellRenz365. I try to keep you guys up to date on everything going on around the silver and black, even on my off day like you see right now. At the end of the day, though, I want to be able to reach out to you guys, connect with more people, and the more Raider Nation grows on my social media channels, it just means the more we're going to be able to you know, unite. All right, so the last thing we're going to talk about here is Andy Dengler, who... Again, I don't know too much about him. I did a quick little research here, and it says, this is per Ian Rappaport, the Raiders are hiring longtime NFL scout Andy Dangler to add to their college scouting department an over-the-top route under GM Dave Ziegler. He recently spent time working for the Senior Bowl as well as nearly a decade for the Jags. What I really like about that is, is a lot of times you can find some of these diamonds in the rough at the senior bowl because you have the opportunity to be near these players, coach near these players, and they get to know them and see who is going to be really good, who is going to be really uh, maybe not so good. But the fact that he's got that extra work you know, in the scouting department, obviously this is definitely something that the Raiders need. One very interesting player I want you to guys keep an eye on, Trevor Penning. He's the right tackle from Northern Iowa, small school guy, absolutely dominated last weekend. And the fact that this guy's looking at him at the Senior Bowl, the fact that the Raiders need a right tackle, I personally still want the Raiders to go out and get a right tackle in free agency, like Morgan Moses. But hey, watch out for a guy like Trevor Penning. Should be shooting up a lot, a lot of Raiders' minds. Now, as it stands right now, with uh, bringing in somebody who knows you know, the college game a little bit better, I want to know down in the comments, who's a player that you want the Raiders to draft in the first round? Obviously, First round picks have been a bit of a, a bit of an issue for Las Vegas, but with the 22nd pick in the 2022 NFL Draft in Las Vegas, who do you want them to go out and get? Now, I did make a video about some players that I would like the Raiders to go out and target. Please go ahead and check it out. It's on the channel. But obviously, when you look at the past few years, right? Alex Leatherwood, Damon Arnett, Henry Ruggs, Cleveland Furl. Josh Jacobs, Jonathan Abram, I would say probably the only player that was kind of worth it was Josh Jacobs. Now, Ruggs was trending in the right direction. Obviously, that didn't happen. Then you got Colt Miller, who I do obviously really, really like at the left tackle position, but it took him a little bit to get into it as well. So I want to know down in those comments who you want the Raiders to draft with that first pick, I guess I should say, 
with the 22nd pick in the first round. Now, I am getting ready to wrap up the show. I appreciate everyone who tunes into the Raiders Report all the time. We got Super Bowl 56 tomorrow, which I am absolutely stoked for. I'm not going to be doing a watch party because we didn't get enough votes to make my bosses be like, hey, go do a watch party on the channel. So I hope you guys enjoy you know, the Super Bowl. I want the Bengals to win. Personally, that's who I bet on. But the way that I am going to wrap up this show is because I have been getting asked a lot, Mitch, who are the Raiders coaching staff or who's like the official staff? So here it is. Here is the known coaching staff. Obviously, on top of, you know, you got Ziegler. You hired Champ Kelly as well. But you got Josh McDaniels as head coach. Mick Lombardi as offensive coordinator. Patrick Graham as DC. Tom McMahon as special teams coach. Bo Hardegree as quarterback coach. Edgar Bennett as wide receiver coach. Carmen Brasillo, offensive line coach. Chris Ash as your defensive backs coach. Defensive PG coordinator is Jason Simmons. And then your def defensive assistant is Rob Ryan. Now again, y'all, I am Mitchell Renz. This is the Raiders Report. Maybe I can get Chuck to come on over here. Chuck, come here. He is passed out. So you guys are going to get a sneak peek of, uh, of my apartment. Well, kind of. It's a bit of a mess, so don't judge too much. But I know you guys have been wanting to see Chuck for a while. So this is going to be Chuck. He's taking a little nap on the couch. So we're going to end the show like this. So if you guys want more content from the Raiders Report, all I want you to do is go ahead and hit this sub button right here. And that's where I'm going to keep you guys up to date on everything going on around. Like right above Chuck's butt, that's where the sub button is going to be. If you're looking for more videos, then you can just go on over here. You click this button. It's going to give you a whole bunch of new videos on what you might also love. So if you're a Raiders fan, I promise you, you can go ahead and click this button right here.